feast your eyes on this lean, green, high crop machine. It's a 1967 Oliver 1250. Never heard of the 1250 model? That's okay. You're not the only one. It's just something unique. Everybody's got John Deere's, you know, and everybody knows what a 730 is or a 50, but you show them a, a 1250 Oliver, they go, huh? I don't think that's real. The 1250 was built to meet the needs of specialty and vegetable crop farmers from 1965 to 1969. Unable to fund the production of such a small lot of tractors, Oliver turned to Fiat for help. These are something that uh, Oliver bought from Fiat when they could not produce tractors cheap enough for a uh, small run that they was going to have for the vegetable industry. Oliver needed another tractor that uh, would replace the 440 and uh, engineers for Oliver would not make a high crop out of a 550 or lock rear end. And so they went to Fiat and Fiat was able to do this and they could buy the tractors cheaper than they would could retool and make a whole new tractor. Oliver bought tractors from Fiat way until Oh, about 78, I think. But uh, they made a lot of different Fiat tractors, all the way from the 1250s, then the 1450, and then the 1365s, and the 1465s, mutters and different things that Oliver did not want to gear up for. As John got to work restoring the second 1250 that he purchased for spare parts, he made a discovery that would make other collectors green with envy. Well, I got sanding on it, and underneath the green paint was red paint. And I thought, wow. Although literally the same tractor, this discovery meant that John had stumbled on a rare cockshut 1250. And looking at it more, I found out that uh, Fiat made the tractor green, shipped it to the United States, and then they painted it red to ship it to Canada and called it a cockshut. I found out that that's what happened, but then before it got shipped to Canada, it stayed in Georgia, and, but the farmer that bought it wanted it green, so they painted it green again. Then after that, well, then it got to uh, salvage yard, and that's where I bought it from the salvage yard. Oliver bought Cockshut in 1962 and decided to take advantage of Cockshut's brand loyalty. They took their green Oliver tractors, already being manufactured, painted them red, and shipped them to Canada with the Cockshut logo. Only three Cockshut 1250 tractors are known to exist today, and John is lucky enough to own one of them. The nickname I got for these two tractors, oh, I call them the twins, the girls. Uh, since they're both alike, uh, you see a lot of uh, tractors like that. And I just thought it was unique to have a red cockshut, you know, but still be in the, in the Oliver family. People here in Nebraska, they don't believe that that's an Oliver. That's something that I just repainted. I'm back to the original as much as I can. The maximum lift on the 1250 was 2,650 pounds. That's an impressive 75% of the overall tractor weight. It also featured a 24-volt electrical system, a six forward speed transmission with one gear shift lever, and sported an engine speed of 2,500 RPMs. They handle just like a, you know, any other tractor, but uh, uh, the sound is different. There's a Fiat, you know, little twang to them that's a little different. Oliver led the industry in the sale of diesel tractors for several years, and the 1250 was imported with a choice of two Fiat engines, a four-cylinder diesel or a four-cylinder gasoline engine. The diesel produced 38 and a half PTO horsepower. These tractors, uh, they're, the motors is kind of left over from World War II, the diesels. Uh, these were the first models that, that uh, Fiat made, tractors. In addition to his long-lost twins, John also has many other rare pieces in his collection, including an Oliver 500 and 2455. I didn't want to collect the ordinary farm tractor that you see here. There's too many other guys that are collecting, you know, the farm tractors. I wanted something different. Some guys play golf. 
Some guys go fishing, which is boring to me is all get out. I'd rather just go in the shop and just tinker around and <laughs> there I have my cup of coffee and my cookie jar. What more could a guy want? <laughs>